Pray to your deity of choice. Tell them to bless my rockets in order for Sideshow to be on the Florida Mayhem. A fortnight of greatness. Thibbledog says, I am quietly rooting for you. Thibbledog works for the Florida Mayhem. Oh, this is it. It's coming home. It's coming home. Keep praying, chat. Keep praying. They've called it the Yaki Coronation Ceremony. They're trying to get in my head already. <laughs> I'm doing this for us, the people, the common folk. These people in Owl, they think they're better than us. And all right, they are better than us, but they're not that much better than us. They want to do warm up. Listen, I'm already warm. I'm already hot. If they think that they're going to just farm me for some yaki warm up, the man should have been practicing anyway. Beth just sent me this message. Yes, Sideshow, you do got this. Yeah. Diggy, diggy, dig a hole. Dig, dig a hole. Diggy, diggy, diggy hole. Dig, dig a hole. Diggy, diggy, dig a hole. Dig, dig a hole. Oh. Don't you dare let them bully you into warm ups. You got this, King. You can do it. Don't give in to the Timmies in chat. They don't know your potential. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. Ah, just a friendly viewer who believes. Time to dominate the competition. Oh, here we go. Oh, you yes, I do. I like to think I do. I represent all of Plat Chat. And no, I don't mean the podcast. I mean the common folk. Those who have never, those who have aspired to be great but always fell short. Those who wanted to reach the heights of Yaki, but couldn't overcome the, the blocks within themselves. Well, don't worry. Today, I'm here for you. Today, we overcome. We're gonna lose, yes, but we are gonna lose with dignity. We are gonna lose with our dignity intact. We're gonna get a couple of kills off him, hopefully five. And we're gonna prove that we can't just be quashed. Already gave up? No, 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 no. It's about having realistic expectations so that when I'm down 10 nil, I still believe in the comeback. Mm. Oh no, the game has begun. Yaki going with a concussion blast straight off the roofs going to be varying up his momentum to a degree. Now, Sideshow's warmed up. He's been hitting the rockets against the AI, training in the bot. Yaki hits another rocket. Sideshow in a bit of trouble. But remember, you got that Mercy healing coming in. One more rocket coming in from Yaki. And Sideshow, you can see the nerves are starting to come in to a degree. The nerves are starting to play a little bit. His arms are shaky. His knees are weak. There's spaghetti falling out of his pockets. And oh, he hits one good rocket there. Actually, some, not using the concussive tech at all midair, Bryn. But he seems to be readjust, readjusting, but still neither neither person has gone to kill yet. Just landing rockets for both sides. No, that's going to be Yaki finding the first. Early on. The problem, I think the problem that I've seen here for Sideshow early, Bryn, is that he's just not hitting shots. He's just not hitting shots. He's just Yaki's not hitting movement. Yaki. Yaki's movement, believe it or not, is the complete opposite of a AI that has been developed for Fire one ones because, well, Yaki's Ooh. a real human being. Some nice little long-range shots being hit off here. I think Fara from long-range battles, probably is going to be favoring Yaki here, but he falls very low still. Sideshow so needs to hit at least two shots in a row. Remember this chat. One shot. He's so close. Tries to hit the fadeaway. Will not be getting it. There we go. I had to turn off my Discord overlay because it, it was blocking the absolutely monumental scoreline that the two were displaying. 
but currently, I have to say that he, he's been doing better at returning the rockets, but Yaki continues to dominate him. Absolutely yeah, dominate him. Dominate. Yaki hits four kills. Saito needs to be getting one through the law of averages if he wants to stand a chance of getting this contract. Hits one rocket, but he's got to be fast with the follow-up. It's got to be instantaneous. Notice how Sideshow doesn't appear to try to do any sort of extra movement at all because any of that extra movement could overload his brain. He's already working at maximum overdrive currently. Yeah, he's trying to hit these shots now. I, I, I think that Sideshow might need to employ some different strategies, possibly by moving into close quarters to try and stand a chance against Yaki. He's hitting off the odd shot here or there. I would say but that if we multiplied Yaki by about 10... Oh! 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 The first frag the going first the way. Frag! Oh, hey. Oh, Three hey. to one, ladies and gentlemen. Three to one. Thank you, and now this is looking so doable right now, Yaki. Taking another shot. Has to back up. Has to use this boosters. Now Josh. Sideshow. Wilkinson. Hunting for the frag. He has the high ground advantage over Yaki. This is a huge advantage. Does not hit the rocket, though, when he was going up for the own booster. That is going to be a critical error. He's going to be regretting that one, possibly losing oh. sleep over it. Yaki. Oh. Those are some beautiful shots. Oh, Yaki from down below, reaching up above and taking down Josh Wilkinson. Josh Wilkinson! Oh. 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 There's the second! I don't believe oh, it. Oh, my goodness, Swing Chip. You have to be sweating right now. You have to be sweating. He drops the question mark. He, is, he drops the question mark. Shots. Unbelievable shots. Yaki hits the question mark after losing that 1v1. Saito needs a kill here. He's got to make something happen. He's got to hit one of these shots, but you can tell the panic is settling in. The arms are starting to shake. Yaki now one kill away from the halftime mark. Yaki is putting this man in the coffin bin. Wait. Rising Saito. Yes, the shot. He's three. We That's two three. kills away. Oh my goodness. Yaki three gets Yaki angry off of that one. And there's and the halftime. An no interim period. No warm up. We're just jumping straight in and Yaki follows up with a kill instantly. Yaki's kind of angry, I think. Yaki's very angry the fact that Sideshow could actually just take his spot on the starting roster. He could take his at money from his mouth. At the half, I told him if Sideshow gets a 14 day contract, it's coming out of his paycheck. So. Oh, wow, well, wow, wow. Okay. There's a lot of stakes on the line here for Yaki. A lot of stakes. And Yaki is hitting a lot more consistent rockets. Look at the damage difference. The difference of 2k damage between these two players. That adds up over time. And eventually, that means that, you know, Yaki's hitting more of these rockets back to back. It's all about hitting that very close window, and, and Josh, he's not great at hitting the close windows. It requires Ooh. a lot of reaction time as Yaki. Going to put him to the dirt once again. Back to back rockets. And if Sideshow, here's the trouble though. Sideshow is a little bit of a choker. Two rounds away, might just be insurmountable for him. Yaki hitting so many back-to-back -back rockets now. Between the two, Bryn. This is what the, this key I was talking about. Josh, his retinas just aren't, they're not acclimated to this sort of distance in the Pharaoh 1v1. Oh! oh. And Sideshow, I gotta say, I, I wanna see some varying of the strategy. He's getting sucked into the 1v1. He's getting sucked up into the flow state, and now Yaki is running away with it. He's shutting it down. Oh He's my shutting goodness. It down. The and Berserker rage is upon him. He feels the bloodlust. Sideshow, he's scared. He stopped even attempting to move at all. Yaki has him in his sights. He's ready to feast the wolf, the wolf of the mayhem. Play, but listen, we've seen what he can do to lampposts. I don't want to even see what he can do to Yaki. This because is so, so close. Uh, this is not at all Yaki, close. This is not at all close, Bryn. I don't think right now, Yaki, I don't think it's close. Yaki is running away with it. Yaki is running away with it. The damage lead that was 2k, now almost insurmountable of 4k. Yaki playing low. Once again, playing the distance. He knows Saicho can't connect with the second rocket from that distance. Ooh. No, it's okay. He fe he feel he has no it's fear. Zero fear for Yaki. Oh! Yaki is nailing these shots, and now Yaki is just two kills away from ending it where it started, which was uh, where it started. I mean, it, it, it was it was before it's even finished. Yaki is one kill away. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. This could be the final moment. Yaki's a bit of BM, a bit of spinning. So just trying to trade these choking. rockets here. It's not, it's not going oh. well for Josh. He needs to mix it up, Bryn. He needs to mix it up here. I think he goes for the barrage. I think he goes no, for the barrage. No, 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 no. He no, needs no, to. No, the no, duel no, isn't no, working no. for him, Bryn. Yeah. It isn't. You can't unleash it. Yaki is playing with him. He's on the ground, <laughs> running around. He knows that Josh cannot hit these shots when he's on the ground. And now the table is turned. Yaki, he has the higher ground. 
Yaki going back low again. Just taunting Josh. He's gonna drop the no barrage. Way. And he's gonna lose his no life. Way. Way. Yaki is giving him a kill. There's a heat. Yaki's playing this so dangerously, Brian. This is the world's Yaki most dangerous game. Yaki is giving him a kill. This is cool. It all comes down to this. Next kill wins. Bin Spoon Next and Albert. Wins. Yeah, they are playing. Oh, oh my god! god. 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 <laughs> Yaki throws. He throws. Yaki throws. No. 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 I don't believe what I just went there. Oh my goodness. Let me get Bin Spo Spoon on the phone. Bin Spoon, you've just lost Where, several thousand the dollars. Where's the contract? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just when you thought it was over, Yaki hands out the metaphorical olive branch. The thing that they discuss in Greek mythology. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it comes from. But Yaki gave it to Sideshow and gave him the five kills necessary. Sideshow Gaming is the next member of the Florida Mayhem. One day he's he's a diamond player, killing himself on lampposts. The next day he's earned himself a contract with the Florida Mayhem. And, and really I'd expect this a lot more from Mayhem Season 1. Not so much this season, but I, I have to say that it's thematic. It's thematic. Wow! Wow! He's turned it into a 1v1! What on earth? The throw! He's so cocky! I'm gonna punish him! Oh! Oh! Barrage against me, kid! Barrage against me! Barrage against me, Yaki! Barrage against me! Oh, and in your moment of hubris, you have failed. <laughs> Gigi, Yaki, you're insane. Dude, that, I, uh, I got boomed until he barraged me. Until he barraged me. That would have been a 21 to 4. That would have been a 20 to 4. 100% that would have been a 20 to 4. There's no way I would have got that final kill. You, number one, Faha. Oh. Oh. God. Oh. Oh, I've achieved something in my life. I've achieved something in my life. Huh? Do you count yourself as an achievement? No, but if this is the highlight of your life, I'm not going to this is the highlight of my week. This is the highlight of my month. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. That's that's nasty. When can I buy my sideshow mayhem jersey? <laughs>